there's a long established history of fine furniture making within the United Kingdom. This is wrongly considered to be a dying trade. It should be noted that there are approximately 250 designer makers currently working in this country. Many of these are sole traders in isolated and rural environments. The Bespoke Guildmark provides a respected award for exceptional excellence in design and craftsmanship. It gives the applicant the opportunity to gain the acknowledgement of their peers. It promotes their workshop and fosters their skills and gives them the chance to be interactive with a city livery company. The Worshipful Company of Furniture Makers is a livery company of the City of London. It was founded as a guild in 1951 and was granted the status of a livery company in 1963. There are over 300 members of the livery company from all sectors of the industry. Our objective is to promote and develop the design, making and selling of furniture in the United Kingdom and its marketing worldwide. Or, to put it more simply, to promote the British furniture industry by the recognition of excellence in furniture through the award of prestigious guild marks and by working with universities and colleges to help them train students equipped for the future success of the industry. Also by maintaining and publicizing our website as an accessible shop window for furniture bearing our guild marks and so directly promoting the sale of furniture of excellence. This book is the record of all the guild marks awarded to date. Successful applicants gain a numbered certificate for their piece, which can be used for display purposes. There was also an annual award given to the piece considered the most outstanding of all the successful applicants of that year. I first went to the Celebration of Craftsmanship exhibition in Cheltenham when I was around 20, and this was the first time that I'd seen fantastic pieces of innovative furniture, very designer-led. It was then when I started to learn about the great names of, of our generation and make pieces of Andrew Vara and Matthew Burtz. I then started to learn about the route that they'd taken um, through their careers and I learned of the Guild Marks and the Worshipful Company of Furniture Makers. And finally I felt last year that I was ready to try and make a really distinctive piece and so I had to go with Symphony No. 1. But when I received the Guild Mark I felt very honoured and privileged to receive it because I felt that I had gained some acknowledgement and recognition from my peers who I admire so much and it really has sort of lifted my confidence in what I do, encouragement to apply for more guild marks in the future. It's easy for furniture makers to forget that their medium, furniture making, is actually one of the most significant contemporary forms of art. We get so involved in the making that one sometimes forgets how important it is for objects to communicate contemporary values. And the exciting thing about that is that, of course, furniture can excel not only in the making, but in making a very clear statement about contemporary life. And so it needs to excel in the concepts of what's being made as well as in the craftsmanship. And that's really where I think uh, the bespoke guild mark can really make a real contribution by setting very high standards uh, of design as well as the making. <laughs>